And basically he discovered something that a lot of people have been looking for. He discovered... What's going on everybody? I'm Jericho and this is Zap and we are the now six time international award winning pop hip hop duo Bandit Future. We make clean fun music that everyone can listen to with a sound that is uniquely Californian. And right now you would tune into the Life of Circus podcast where we talk about things that are funny, interesting, and ridiculous. So before we get into this thing, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, comment, and share this video with at least two people that want to save the world from starvation, that want to feed the planet, that want to help people not not have food. Was that double negative? Maybe. Yes, that was like the very definition of double negative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went down a deep, dark well. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. So... <laughs> There is a guy. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I was going to ask a question first. Okay. I have a statistic about how many people, again, statistics, who knows, how many people in the world yearly go without having enough food, would you say? There are 8 billion people in the world. How many people don't have, and what is, they're not dying of, but they don't have enough food. So how many people do you think? You said 8 billion in the world? Yeah. So of those 8 billion, how many of those do not have enough food? consistently half okay so according to th most of the things that google said it's between 783 million and 840 million oh, yeah, so I, was, I was way high well yeah, yeah yeah according to uh 2023 uh you know research but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're right because it does to me it does seem like it's more just based off of media, just what I see is like, oh, this looks like a place where people don't have enough food. That's us all. Mm -hmm. um, so that means that there's a lot of people that really could use some help. And there's organizations all over the world that are dedicated to feeding people. And there's no lack of food. Trust me. We have, I right. think I read this thing where it's like, if we stop making food right now, just in America, we have enough food to feed everybody for like seven years just storage right so yeah. um that's not the issue but anyways well, that's political stuff maybe but the idea that we need more ways to feed people is becoming the work of certain people and one guy in particular found something that is really interesting his name is angel leon he's a chef from espana and he's called el chef del mar so you know he's a the chef of the sea, of the ocean. And he has a five or three star Michelin star restaurant in Spain called Aponiente. And basically he discovered something that a lot of people have been looking for. He discovered a grain that does not require fresh water to grow. So there is a seagrass, if you will, that basically at the bottom of it, if you look at the, the strands, have these little grains at the bottom and he was like i wonder if these are edible and i wonder if they're healthy all this kind of stuff so he did some research took took his research like the united nations all the stuff he got funded and basically found out that there is this grain they call it zostera marina or just the like sea cereal that has a couple <laughs> of things a, a couple of things that are really cool it's um it basically looks like a rice it's kind of has a, like a texture between rice and quinoa it has it's gluten free, high in omega six and nine, and contains fifty percent more protein than rice. It only takes about six minutes more than rice to prepare it, and you can make it with rice. Uh, sorry, you can make it with like um, you can make bread out of it, pasta, tofu, whatever. And you'll love this. You grow it with seawater, so it's grown in the ocean, but it does not taste oceany. So it's not like because I know you do not enjoy the, the fair of, of the sea. And so he's working on making this something that you can get wherever. So I guess the drawback is you do need, of course, ocean to grow it, but you can just put it there and it kind of takes over. It grows really fast and mm -hmm. then you harvest it. That's kind of a drag, but you've kind of got to go in there and just kind of take the, the things off like one at a time. But it could be the solution to help a lot of these uh, 840 million, whatever people that are requiring food. And I thought that was a really cool thing. Do you have, 
or have you heard of other attempts or ideas to basically solve this food shortage that we have? Uh, yes, a, a long time ago, well, really long time ago, when I was a kid, I I saw something that was just like I was I wasn't even thinking about growing food, but it was it was, it was some kind of science. I don't know how I stumbled upon this, but um, it was the concept of growing plants without soil. Mm -hmm. um, and it's this high, there was two, two types. There was the hydroponics. Um, so basically you, you get all this water and the plants just grow in water and you can just, it's like you can have a garden inside of a, facility um and mm. but then the uh the the step further with that which was just like i i even like wanted to start one one day or something just but i just have a bunch of money and just 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 to do it um was this thing called i think i'm getting them right aquaponics where you use fish and you basically create this ecosystem. You 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 basically create an a I want to say artificial because it's real. It's like a compact version of like how the world works, the circle of life kind of thing. Uh -huh. So you have instead of just having the plants grow in water, you have fish. It's been a long time since I looked looked at this, so that's why I'm kind of like struggling with it. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you have fish in the water, and then the fish you feed the fish, and then the fish poop, which is the thing that happens. Yeah, I agree. And right. the poop like fertilizes the plants, and then the plants are in like. Like fertilize the, ah, I wish I could remember exactly how it works. You fertilize the roots of the plants, but then there's like a filtration system to where like the the plants filter. They you they take all the nutrients, and and then the water filters back through the plants. Mm -hmm. Um, so it cleans up all the poop, like basically like you have in a fish tank. Like the, it's basically the cycle that you create in a fish tank, and so yeah. that so that fresh water then comes back to for the fish and then the cycle just like keeps going and i thought that was like the coolest thing ever because then because then you have you have a fish population which which can be used to make that system work or you can like harvest the fish um because fish produce rapidly or you can just grow the grow the the you know berries or whatever you're growing and eat from the plants so you so you always kind of like have a meal um yeah. that kind of is kind of self-contained in this loop i thought it was just really cool that's interesting that you mentioned that this does the same thing in a way you basically take this plant plant like put it in some offshore area and then as it starts to grow it attracts these like plankton that mm -hmm. feed off of it and then the plankton, you know, they do the pooping and then that's, that fertilizes the grass. But then the plankton attract the certain kind of crab that comes. And then the crab does something else to the, the area. So basically, yeah, it does it's kind of a cyclical thing. And then humans can eat. You can actually eat, eat the plankton if you if you want. You can eat these crabs. I, I, I debated whether to do this. If you eat the crabs, they make they make your mouth glow. I don't know how to explain it other than I'll just find the link and send it to you. Maybe you can put it up, but you eat the crabs and then like you turn off the lights and it's like ultraviolet. It's a weird <laughs> fluorescence. If you really want that, you can go get it. Okay. See why I don't uh, eat seafood? That's why. Oh, I see. A, um, a, ham a hamburger never made my mouth glow. Well, maybe it, yeah. <laughs> I would question where that hamburger came from if that was the case. Um, but that is the idea that these, that, through this process, yeah, these kind of and, and then it's the fact that the earth is like seventy five percent salt water, so you can grow this in places where mm. normally you couldn't grow anything else uh, that humans could eat, as far as um like a non meat source. So it's just revolutionizing the game, and I have I would love to try it. I think his goal is to by like twenty thirty five or something to just have it available for the world so that they can try it out. But it, it so it's 
this caution it just looks kind of, it's green right so it looks kind of weird um, 2035 2035 yeah why is it why does it take so long regulations going through all the governments and oh. saying we've done all the tests that show it doesn't cause cancer all that stuff oh yeah because he's been at it for a while but i believe he went to the un in 2018 to talk to him about it and then he's just been slowly he has like a whole team of scientists and all that kind of stuff but yeah the, i guess the process of making it like it's okay for everybody it's gonna take a while mm. But he's a cool, he's a cool dude. Very enthusiastic about the ocean, you know. Um, so that's just the future of food in general, trying to look forward, especially if like this rising ocean thing keeps happening. And okay, well, at least we can grow something that would I guess take care of that vitamin that we need from green plants and whatever. So uh, mm. yeah, give it a shot. It's Ostera Marina. That's what this called. You can try it out. So let us know in the comments if you if you give it a shot because everything is it's, it's it reminds me of that one episode of um F F Futurama where Fry had this like green it's like it's like it's like a green substance you had to make a plate with like almost like a Master Chef kind of show and mm. everything in that show looked like this and I was like that's kind of interesting maybe Futurama does the same like projecting the future thing that the simpsons does because that's exactly what this is you may pass out of it make gelatin out of it it all has that green vibe to it but mm. and it's good for you so let's know in the comments if you give it a shot so stay marina try it out and if you've heard of any other ideas that could be good for the for the planet for getting us to to eat in the future because i don't know about you i've tried food i like it very much i'd like to continue eating it and I hope <laughs> you find ways to provide it to us right Maybe, maybe it's just an idea, a hypothesis. You could make your whole job just providing food for other people. Because if you do that and you do that well, one, people will pay you, and two, you will never lose your job. They won't lose your job. No one's going to take your job because you're giving them food. Oh, you're eating plankton, SpongeBob. They took our jobs. <laughs>